Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is. What never fails to make you horny. That why slash n moment when whoever or with is taller and slowly traps you, consensually, against a wall and speaks all low and slow, that's probably been one of the few times I didn't even need foreplay to soak through my undies. Feels very high school in the best way. Just my girlfriend. There's just something about her that sets me off. She feels the exact same way. Never had it with any other human but for some reason, every time we look at each other we both get that feral feeling. I don't know why but someone's voice. If they have amazing voice, damn I'm done. Like when I was talking to my crush, she has this kinda soothing voice for me, yet every time I speak with her I just can't function. When we were speaking once I literally was so horny it would creep her out probably if she knew it. If a person has a unique voice, like Karina Lombardi, from L Word, fuck. <laughs> Thinking about the intensely intimate, super long hugs I had with a friend a few months back. Nothing ever came of it but goddamn do they haunt my thoughts lol it was on an unusually warm and windy December night, ugh. <laughs> a couple years ago, I was working second shift and got out at midnight. I figured, it's the middle of winter, I'm freezing and exhausted, I'll stop and grab a cup of coffee on my way home. I drove to this local coffee house and parked. While I was walking up to the front door I stepped on a really nasty patch of ice and fell right on my ass. This young woman, maybe early 20s, 5 foot even and 100 pounds soaking wet, happened to be coming up to the front door at the same time and stopped to ask if I was alright. Are you okay? She asks, sounding concerned. Yeah, I reply, nothing bruised but my pride and the fat part of my ass. She offered me a hand. Let me help you up, she says. Keep in mind I'm 6 feet 2 inches in my boots, 260 pounds, and not all of it is fat. Nah, I decline. You'll just end up on the ground next to me. I appreciate it, though. Don't be so stubborn, she says, offering me a hand. I shrug and figure it's her ass to land on. She grabs my hand and I shit you not she picked me straight up off the ground. To this day I can't figure out the physics of it, there's no way she'd even have that kind of leverage. I got my feet underneath me and she kind of tossed her hair over her shoulder with a giggle. I played all the sports in high school, she says as if that's any kind of explanation. My body decided the only appropriate response would be to immediately pop a rock hard erection. I stammered a thank you to her and shuffled my way into the coffee shop, trying to hide my boner under the counter while I ordered. Anyway, the long story short is that fit women get my motor running. My girlfriend likes having her panties pulled, as in getting a wedge. When we are making out specially in public without anyone saying, as soon as I'm kissing her and she starts feeling my hand sliding down her back and I grab her panties, and she feels I'm gonna pull them, her body body starts contorting and she starts moaning. As a femme, making a dude hard in public or while he's at work, precum, and most especially premature ejaculation, essentially if they're actively trying to hold back. Nothing gets me closer, faster, than making a dude pop against his will. My wife getting out of the shower, walking in the room with the towel wrapped around her and leaning over to get her undies or bra and then her butt cheeks sneak out from under the towel. I also like spying on her in the bathroom when she's getting ready and doesn't have a bra or anything on and doesn't know I'm watching her reflection in the mirror. We be married almost 30 years, and it still turns me on like crazy. A song. Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden. Explanation. When I was a callow youth, yet still in high school, I was staying with a group of friends over the weekend, playing AD&D. My friends left, but I stayed an additional day. The woman whose house I was staying at was part of mentorship program for troubled kids, and two of them showed up during the last day I was out there. They were both my own age, and by God one was the prettiest thing on earth. I was besotted. 
they shifted through the house's expansive network of channels, hopping from music channel to music channel. All. Damn. Day. We would switch to a different channel, and there that song was. So, yeah. My husband in his work gear after he's done for the day. Slight smudges of dirt on his face and hands, smells so good never like Bo but like the job site. It's so hot. Sometimes I want him to bend me over the bed but our kids always need something and would knock on the door so that's not really possible slash. The sound of a metal belt buckle. Not the wimpy everyday belt buckle. But a full metal work utility belt, ugh. Every time. My husband will randomly unbuckle his work pants just because he thinks it's funny to watch my head snap up and pupils dilate. <laughs> Having my nipples licked, then sucked harder and harder, then nibbled, chewed and bit, all while watching every second of it happening. I live for that feeling. Learned I loved it a long time ago when I woke up to my friend doing it to me while her boyfriend watched and then he joined in. I was not happy that they just decided to start a threesome while I was asleep and I stopped it a few minutes in, but I learned from her that this is my favorite thing. From then on I asked every guy, or girl sometimes, I was dating to do it for me. One guy told me he couldn't believe I was asking him to do that. He'd always fantasized about it and any time he tried with anyone before he'd get yelled at or slapped, etc. I'm not into pain in any other way but while it's happening I want them to be sucked so rough I can't wear a bra let alone a blouse the next day. I cannot be in the mood at all, and my boyfriend will casually start to rub my shoulders, thighs and lower back. That usually relaxes me, which helps with being turned on. He'll see the heart on forming and will casually work around everything else and that just makes me hornier than anything. Seeing my girl's legs and feet. She's from South India and was taught to never show her body at all, so now after four years, living in the West, she finally is wearing some epic shorts, skirts, etc. and it never fails to set me off. My friend's older sister chopping wood. She was, by all appearances, someone who you would not think to do something like that. She was your textbook college sorority stereotype. I'm at his house one day for a gathering and I hear someone chopping wood. I say. Your dad is really getting ahead on firewood isn't he? And my friend says that's my sister out there. Three of us immediately rush to the porch to see her heave the axe over her head and swing it down to split the cord in two, first swing. To this day, eight years later, if I need a jump start chopping my wood, I think of her chopping wood. A woman bending over, squatting down, or getting on all fours to reach something, especially if it's right in front of me. It's the best if they're kind of the sea and have a big ass and thighs and you see just how big and wide it is when they're reaching for something, even better when their butt crack is showing while reaching. I don't know why but seeing those always makes so horny. Also if a woman's ass, thighs, or tits are right in front of my face, whether they're aware or unaware. Or a woman wearing tight pants showing off their butt and thighs or just wearing a short and tight dress outlining her figure. Or a woman showing cleavage. Or a sexy woman twerking really hard. Or a woman leaning forward so that there is an arch and her ass is in kind of up in the air. Or a woman acting flirty slash horny and doing things to grab someone's attention. Just a lot of things tbh. I'm a horny person. Women who are absolute train wrecks. I've been in a stable relationship for 10 years, and am now married with a kid. Took me a long time to learn to cope with healthy communication and a supportive partner. Not sure if I'll ever stop missing screaming matches, emotional abuse, and the ensuing mutual hate fuck afterwards. I am my own worst enemy. My wife. Her smile, her boobs, her ass legs and even feet, yes, I'm one of those weird assholes. Never really got to act on the feet thing until I told my partner, now wife, about it. She handed me bandage tape, said to tape her legs and feet together, lube them up and go for it. Only done it once, but holy hell. 
TL, DR, my hot ass wife who understands me. If a good looking older guy has some grey chest hair poking out of his shirt. I'm done. Man, it was awkward as hell when my boss came to talk to me one day, and I noticed his chest hair, I thought oh god no. I'm getting turned on by my boss, of all people. For some reason the light outline of the shape of a female belly area. The line in the middle and the outlines of the lower rib cage as well as the line between the beginning of the hips and the side of the stomach muscles but that is less important to my brain for some reason. Also I like to look at ass for much more understand abka reasons. But the belly thing is definitely my biggest fetish. I am also quite alone with it as it seems. NKT completely but by far not as integrated in majorities as ass and chest people. Or even foot fetish people for whatever reason. I'm a woman and newly single after 20 years of marriage. I am horny all the time. The wind blows and I'm horny. It doesn't matter. I'm 45 and I like guys in their 20s. That really turns me on. So much energy and they are just free and not set in their ways yet. It's great. See, now I need to go take a shower just thinking about it. LOL. Okay I've got a weird one for ya. Bare shoulders on women, specifically shirts, or dresses that reveal them. Topless obviously is hot but not specifically what I'm going for. I'm talking about something like a tube top or one of those sweaters that's too big so it hangs off one shoulder. Something about seeing this thing that's always covered up be the only thing that's revealed is so hot to me. Same applies to midriff. <laughs> Musically talented women. It's a huge turn on. But most of the people I dated didn't play a single instrument. I recently got out of a relationship today earlier. I'm broken about it because she broke up with me. Anyway, she didn't play a single instrument. Sure, she sang which I guess was enough. Hey, did you know singing is considered an instrument? <laughs> Weird one but, Mandalorian armor slash helmets? Any nice armor I suppose, thinking about the Halo games, those Templar TikToks, I don't know. The fear that the guy under the armor could kill me at any given time is cool, and the helmeted ones, you don't have to worry about him being ugly. Slash J. Okay so I got sober and discovered I'm into dudes as well. So V E been beyond horny but nothing gets me wound up like seeing a hot dilf. Ginger men with hot beards and that perfect not too muscular but not skinny type of body. Omf body hair. Seeing a manly man I turn into such a submissive power bottom. Also when a tall strong man walks behind me and it's a bit too close lay <laughs> Random acts of sexuality. Just completely unexpected blowjobs or walking into a room where a very ready partner is surprising me with a good time. And there's something about receiving a random midshift nude that can completely fog my clear thinking for hours. And soft lips whispering sweet nothings in my ear sends a excitable shiver down my body. When she wears that baggy old ugly t-shirt she got from her work several years ago. MMM, you know the one, baby, with the curry stain. Also, anytime she's dressing or undressing. Or naked. Or showering. Or drying off. Or dry. Or dressed for date night. Or work. Or bed. Basically anytime she's nearby. Or when I think about her. The right kind of smile. The kind of smile that says someone is overjoyed at the thought of a kiss, a touch, or more. The smile of someone who's so excited to get started, so happy to be with me, that I can't help but be excited to give myself to them. My husband telling me I'm not allowed to do something, the other day we were at the store and I wanted to get a Starbucks, but he said I was already talking plenty fast and didn't need any more caffeine. I told him he'd made me insanely horny and he just teased me a little, that did not help the situation. It's like that old stupid joke, what did the sadist say to the masochist? No. Big butts. Like anything with a big butt. 
friend of mine and I decided to do the Pokemon Smash or Pass thing for fun. I thought I would just like the obvious ones, Ditto, Jinx, Gardevoir. Immediately I was like Venusaur. Massive dump truck ass. Literally nothing else attracts me to that thing. But because but I want to bone it. <laughs> One I just discovered, a rugged man in a leather kilt with black biker boots. Yozer was watching forged in fire and the one judge was wearing just that and I couldn't stop imagining him just lifting that kilt and doing what he gotta do. Nay I seem to have developed a thing for muscly men in skirts. <laughs> Being told what a good boy I am. I wish it didn't work so well but all my BF has to do is hold my face and go who's my good boy, and I am putty in his hands. Bonus making dudes hard at inappropriate times and watching them get flustered and try to hide it, love. <laughs> Emotional abuse but in just the right way. People that treat you lesser than them, in a strangely loving, condescending manner. Saw a scene in a show once where a supreme leader type guy ordered someone on their hands and knees in front of his throne and then lifted up their chin to look at him with his boot. OOF. OOF I tell you. I don't know how to explain it. Fear. Fear turns me on. I enjoy being slapped but what I enjoy even more is when someone raises their hand at me and I flinch, genuinely expecting them to do it. It's even hotter than actually being slapped. Instantly burning in the nether regions. I don't know. This is gonna make me sound like trash but the guy I was referring to Horde Prime from Shiara. If you know who that is, him. He is the perfect example of the type of emotional abuse I'm talking about. The scene where he forces Kitra and Glimmer to have a really tense, uncomfortable dinner with him. And they both look so sad and helpless and scared but can't do or say anything but try to be awkwardly polite. Ugh. So good. I want to be them in that scene. No one will ever read this because it'll be so far down and to boot no one will care but. When a man asks me if there's pie. Let me explain. There was someone I was more attracted to than anyone else I'd ever met in my life. One day we went to lunch at a buffet, and I returned from the dessert bar with a brownie. I looked up at him and he was looking at me so intensely, in a way that gave me butterflies, and made me feel like electricity was scorching through my limbs. I forgot about the brownie, the buffet, everything, while staring back into his eyes. Then he said. Is there any pie up there? I wish I could say there was more to this story but there's not. We never hooked up. But whenever I think of that moment it's instant wetness for me. It's also an instant orgasm when I need it. I have that type of sleepwalking disorder where I do sexual things instead. I'm single now so I wake up in the middle of the night and have to grab the vibrator. So I guess I just get activated. Also boobs. <laughs> Neck kisses, hugs from behind, picking me up and outing me on the counter or the bed etc. The best thing though, when he gets horny from just a little kiss or hug, or cuddles. My ex was a bit flustered when it happened so randomly but I loved it. <laughs> your mother. Yes I have been having an affair with your mother. I didn't want to tell this on a site like this but yes I love your mother to death and would do or kill whatever for her. Despite her sub par looks I love her with a fiery passion and when we make love oh god yes when we do it ignites my soul. I will soon be your new stepdad, winky face. <laughs> Intense and acute stress. My friend, who was an exceptional student who lived and died by keeping a 4.0 and who's now a doctor had the same thing in direct relation to the magnitude of tests. In high school, without touching anything, she had an orgasm while sitting in her seat right before the AP US history test. TBF, she got a 5. <laughs> Being on the phone whilst my MRS is nearby. Or vice versa. Once told my mate I was coming and wouldn't be long literally as I was coming. He knew walked out grinning and he just sat there staring then asked. Dude, you just got FKN laid didn't you, was I on the phone when you was coming. My man high five. <laughs> Lesbians. 
No not like watching two lesbians make out, like lesbians in general. Maybe it's the fact they don't need men, and I find the independence attractive. Not a fetish either, like a genuine attraction. Q username checks out. Never thought I say this but there's something about the guy I'm sleeping with coming over and wanting to vacuum that immediately makes me want to strip down. I'm a neat freak, but he wants to get all of his dog's hair off of every surface, since she's a long-haired dog and he brings her over occasionally. Every time he goes to get the vacuum, he says that dog hair and lube don't mix well and grins really big. Even if I've already cleaned before he comes over, the second that I hear the goddamn vacuum, it's on. It's a Pavlov sort of thing. Panty dropper. Just my insanely hot Greek wifey, I look at her and that's all it takes, it's okay though, she is a dedicated wifey she gives me BJ's on the regular, and she is also currently five and a half months pregnant with our baby girl. My girlfriend and I have been fucking about three times a week for the last four years. That's over 600 times with the same average genitalia and the same average bodies. Don't get me wrong, I am not bored and neither of us look bad, we are both mid-30s and about 7 tenths. But, you can't just focus on visual stimulation at this point. While I am happy and satisfied, girls on TikTok these days are way hotter than anything she has going on visually. I also am still fairly fit, my penis is rather large, but I am not a ripped model, either. So, we are done with all the normal shit at this point. I like her to say fuck your mom's pussy. She likes me to pretend I am the devil and say things like take the devil's cock deep inside you. Sometimes we combine it and the devil fucks a naughty mom. Occasionally she calls me daddy, but it is less popular. I don't want to fuck my own mom or anything. I just like the idea of fucking a mom. It feels powerful and always instantly gets my dick hard. Maybe it's time to get off reddit. Haha. <laughs> this marks the end of the video. If you like my content, consider subscribing as it helps me a lot. See you until next time.